This is the story of connection, the connection between a man and his family, and the true meaning of I love you through thick and thin. See how the gift of connection through sound allowed Jack to again savor precious moments at noisy Sunday dinners. When we married nearly 49 years ago, I promised to love you through thick and thin. I became your wife, a military wife, and together we were stationed in Europe and the United States. We've always shared the same interests, our faith, music, travel, photography, swimming, gardening, bicycling, and our home decor. We were blessed with two beautiful children and eight grandchildren. We've stood together through a 20-year military career and all that life has given us. We've had many triumphs and some disappointments, one such as this. We were stationed in Germany when your dream assignment was given to you. We planned on an exciting new future and only for it to be taken away because you failed your hearing test during your physical. I know that this was very disappointing to you as this was a once in a lifetime assignment. What we didn't know was how that failed hearing test was going to play out over the years. Your hearing deteriorated to the point where you were no longer able to enjoy many of the things that we took for granted. Even the one thing that we cherished the most, our weekly family dinners, became frustrating because of how difficult it was for you to follow all the conversations that were going on with our large family that we had created. You were at the time a silent participant. I remember especially when our little three-year-old grandson said something to you and you told him to say it again as you didn't hear him. He quietly said, never mind, and walked away. I was heartbroken for you. But now, because of your hearing loss, you needed me by your side in a different way. The side of you that couldn't hear, I became your ears, your connection to your family, and to your world. I became your right side, and I was happy to do it for you. There were many attempts to restore your hearing, and every time they failed, and your hearing continued to deteriorate. And you became a candidate for a cochlear implant. It was a chance to give you back what was lost, your hearing and your connection to your family. You took a leap of faith and had the surgery. It was a success. I remember the moment you were activated. I could see the light in your eyes instantly return. We both teared up when the first thing you heard me say to you was, I love you. Your life and mine is much richer with your restored hearing. I now forget that you still have a hearing impairment. I'll just chatter away at times when we're getting ready to go out somewhere and I don't realize that you haven't put your processor on. Yeah, I take it for granted that you can hear me. But now I know what a gift your restored hearing is to you, myself, our kids, our grandchildren. Sunday dinners are still noisy, but you are an active participant. I will always be by your side, but now I can lead or follow or walk side by side with you or on any side of you. And once again, we can enjoy all the things life has given us, our family and each other. Jack, I love you, and I'm glad that you had that cochlear implant. I'm sorry that you've had to go through so many trials and tribulations with your hearing, and I hope that it continues to be what it is now. It means a lot. It's like she said, uh, I had not realized how withdrawn that I had become. Uh, you hear words that aren't there. You don't hear all of the sentences that are being said. And she stood by me and sat by me like this. And she would tell me, did you hear what he said? And I would have to say, no, what did he say? Or what did she say? Or whatever. And before, she had to be right here. If it wasn't right here, I didn't understand. Or now, like in the words that she spoke earlier, she can be anywhere around me. Well, it's frustrating, very frustrating to have someone in your life that you love not be able to hear you, because I know what he was going through, and I know how it affects me too. It's a miracle that, that he had this done and that the science has come this far to help him. It was just absolutely amazing to actually be activated on the first day 
and hear not only her, but the audiologist and the speech therapist in the room at the same time. It was, it was like I plugged my headphones all the way in and the world came back as stereo. So it was, it was wonderful. I'm able to communicate and we have a lot of, a lot of plans for the future and I don't have to worry about not being able to hear what she has to say to me or the, the beautiful things that we're gonna see here in the future.